package for Doc Vegan. Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Finally, after buying every last piece of space debris on Sea Bay, I can reassemble my destroyed bow fighter and launch my super surprise attack on the Earth! <laughs> But, before I destroy this wretched planet, I must first destroy its most feared soldier, Johnny Test! Sweetheart, are you plotting to destroy the Earth again? No! Then stop evil laughing and come up for lunch! I'm a little busy right now! I made toast! I'm coming! <laughs> Then I'm coming for you, Johnny Test. And you won't stop me this time. <laughs> Any change? Nope, he's barely moved all day. Wow. Poor little Repto Slicer. Maybe he needs more food. Let's go. Oh, I hate feeding him. Yeah, well, I hate feeding you, but I still do it, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> Why couldn't Repto Slicer eat mealworms and not metal car parts like normal lizards? Because he's not normal. Ugh. And we have to cheer him up. <laughs> I have you now, Johnny Test. Got it! Let's go! Don't want the... No, 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 not the rocket boat! Did you hear something? Sounded like screaming, right? He's still sad. Darn it! He thinks he can defeat me by pressing my buttons? Well, not anymore, now that my powers work on voice command! Rocket boots! Wrist ray blasters! And they make great toast! Mmm, toast. Now to destroy Johnny Test! You and I play lots of video games, right? Right. Well, maybe Repto Slicer feels left out of all the action. So we'll play Battle Brawl Mania and let him play too! <laughs> Perfect. I won't even have to enter the house to destroy him and his little dog, too. <laughs> oh, watch it, dog, because I'm going to use my rocket boots. What? <laughs> then I'm going with my wrist ray blasters. What? <laughs> Oh, you'll never capture me, because I'm going self-eject mode! Oh, no. I will destroy him, then launch my attack on the Earth. <laughs> Isn't this fun, Repto Slicer? He's still sad. Yep. ta -da! Well, lots of animals who live in captivity, Johnny, can develop lethargic, depressed personalities. It's a natural response to a closed-in, captured feeling. But we can't let him out of his cage. <laughs> He'll shred the town, then Earth, then the universe. Then we'll just have to make him a totally awesome gigundo cage with lots of room to play and a hot tub. We can use the construction drones. No. You can use our new green construction drones. Just turn them on, and they use only natural construction materials and are completely Earth-friendly. Perfect! What can I build for you? <laughs> but I am not Earth-friendly once I destroy Johnny Test. What can I build for you? <laughs> been a defect. Who cares? Green construction drones, make Repto Slicer an awesome new home that he will love and be happy again and not look like that. 
One super cool Ripto Slicer super cool pad coming right up. Check it out, Repto old buddy. You have a water slide, hot tub, and VIP area, and disco. Rock and roll, buddy. Darn it! Can you make me a Repto Slicer proof leash so I can at least take him outside? Oh, he is good. <laughs> and I am done with my suit! I'm going to destroy Johnny the old-fashioned way by disguising myself as an ice cream man. And it will be Johnny who will be toast. This is a bad idea. I'm just hoping some fresh air will cheer him up and... Darn it! Hmm. You are not going to let him off the leash. No way! Maybe just a little taste of freedom will cheer him up. Come on, dog! He's been in a cage forever! Free ice cream! <laughs> Heading downtown. Hey, hey, can you make me a Repto Slicer proof net? Hank Anchorman reporting on chaos downtown. Oh! Man, he didn't even get a chance to finish his report. We've got to stop him before he shreds the town. Let's check that building over there, shall we? <laughs> That's it! Forget the Earth! I will launch my surprise attack and my totally rebuilt bow fighter on Johnny Test! I know I said this before, but I have you now, Johnny Test. <laughs> That's it. That's a good psycho lizard. And <laughs> <laughs> Darn it! <laughs> Still, so I can blast you! Oh, great! He's gonna eat another building! He's trapped! Now to locate my foe! Yes! I will destroy him on the roof! <laughs> Johnny Test, and I give up. I no longer want to battle you, and this treaty states that I will never attempt to destroy you or Earth, for you have beaten my every move today. Hmm? What are you talking about? Our Battle Brawl Mania? Where you defeated me like nine times today? Um, I've been trying to cheer up Repto Slicer all day. You mean you weren't even trying? But you signed a treaty and must abide by it. Darn it! And I didn't even know any creatures from Razorium even existed on Earth. Razorium? Well, I'm gonna miss him. Not really. But Repto Slicer sure is gonna be happy here. But oops! A treaty! <laughs> no, I guess our non-fighting treaty is void, and we can have another battle brawl mania! K 
Can you at least wait till we get back to Earth before you try to destroy us? Oh, yeah, I can wait. Johnny, no! Too much, too much! Johnny! Ah! Oh, I had another Johnny Mare! Was it the one where he super glues himself to you and only risky surgery can remove him? Worse! The one where Johnny stays young forever and never leaves the house? It was the one where he's off to college soon and it costs $70,000 a year! <sighs> that wasn't a Johnny Mare, honey. Our little angel really is off to college soon. And with rising tuitions, college will cost $70,000 a year. And, oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> The girls have full scholarships to Pork Belly Tech because they're geniuses. But Johnny? What you doing? Inventing the human tree slingshot. You can't be serious. Johnny will be fine. He just needs to grow up a little and find out what he's truly gifted at. Which right now is making a mess. Tree slingshots rock! I'll get a broom. How will Johnny ever get a free college scholarship when his gift is making a mess? I'd clean this up, Dad, but you are like the greatest sweeper in the world. Mm -hmm. He's right. You are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> But we have to find out what Johnny is amazing at so he can get a scholarship and we don't have to pay for his college. Did someone say scholarship? Because I just got one of Pork Belly Tech, yo. A scholarship? But you can barely spell your own name. Yeah, I know. But I play football. That's... I guess I can throw really hard or something. Lettuce! Hmm. That's it! What's it? Johnny will get a football scholarship! But I don't know how to play football. That's why I'm gonna be your personal coach and teach you! I don't like the look of this. College scholarship? Here we come! Hi, this is Lila Test. I'd like to increase my home insurance policy, please. Now, let's get you started on my way to free college. I don't want to do this. Don't care. Now, chapter one. How to throw like a pro. We can help Johnny get a football scholarship, Dad, with minor surgery and our latest invention, the plasmatic arm. A self-powered and self-operating prosthetic super arm. He'll be a football throwing monster. Yeah, arm. Yeah. Yeah. Emphasis on monster, which your brother always becomes after your experiments. Cool arm. I'll take it. What's your uh, point? My point is, it's cheating, dangerous, and I'm gonna get Johnny a scholarship the old-fashioned way by being an overbearing parent who forces his kid to play sports they have no desire to play. Oh, dude, you are toast. Now, a successful quarterback must have an accurate arm. So throw the balls into the tire, superstar son! I'm not giving up. Then I'm gonna get more home insurance. Watch the master. I don't know how you do it, Dad. It's all in the hips. I could teach you, but they don't give out scholarships for sweeping. Well, don't sweat it, Dad, because I have some news you're gonna love. You're secretly a genius like your sisters in the past 11 years was a cruel trick you played on me? Better. I'm not going to college. Four more years of school? Not for this boy. No way. You think he'll go for it? Ha! He no. I need you to have my back all day, you know that. I'm preparing myself now. Thanks, buddy. Now, baseball is all about hitting. What is that? I've invested in your future by purchasing the High Heat 9000 pitching machine. Do you even know how to use it? How hard can it be, right? Now, get ready for free college, son. Don't 
Don't worry, I'll get a broom and sweep this up. I'm telling you, Dad, you are the sweeping king. Now, let's forget this scholarship thing so I can go back to goofing off and... I'm still not giving up. Darn it! What the heck is lacrosse? Lacrosse is the oldest team sport in North America. It was invented by Native Americans in the 12th century, and they play at Pork Belly Tech. Now, catch! Hey, I caught it! I brought you the big broom from the garage. Thanks, son. attempts in the front yard! Johnny, can you think of anything you might be gifted at that could get us free college? Hey, Test! It's time for your three o'clock beating. Bullies, it's cool say I run fast. Ah! Get back here, Test! Ah! Hmm. Oh, man, your son can run, Mr. Test. I think I'll skip today's beating. See you tomorrow. That's it! Track and field, home to over 15 different running events and scholarships. I said I was good at it. I didn't say I wanted to do it. You need a scholarship. Now run or else. You're gonna shoot me? What? No, it's a starting gun. Now go! I hit a helicopter. I think it's headed for our street. It's me. Uh, get yourself and the girls out of the house. It's just a hunch. I'm okay. Um, you swept the walls away? <laughs> walls? We don't need walls. We need to get you a scholarship. Yeah! <laughs> He's lost it. College must be really expensive. Forget what I said before! Give Johnny the psycho arm so he can throw like the pros, only faster and stronger and better! But you said it was cheating and dangerous. But now I'm saying I don't care, because I can't afford college! Are you telling me your son can throw a football better than anyone on the team? He will blow the whole team away. <laughs> okay, let's see what he's got. Let him have it, son. <laughs> Wow! Man, that kid can throw. I'd love to have him on the team. Yes! If I still had one! Your son just destroyed my whole team! Uh-oh. <laughs> Hey, honey, it's me again. So you would say you couldn't control the plasmatic arm. It's like it had a mind of its own. Got it. And why is Dad still sweeping when there's nothing left to sweep? I think it helps him forget. I feel bad. I'm just not good at sports. In some ways, it's not your fault. Dad has no real athletic skill in his genetics to pass down to you. Here, kids. If you need me, I'll be lying face down in the grass, crying until a construction crew arrives. Well, we didn't get Johnny a scholarship. But with the extra home insurance I bought, we can redo the kitchen. I'll get that. Let me get this one, Dad. You've swept a lot today. Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> he swept all the bricks away. <laughs> that? That was amazing! Huh, I guess you really did pass something down to Johnny, Dad. Sweeping. Too bad there's not a sport that needs sweepers. Huh? Hey, kid! How'd you like a curling scholarship to Pork Belly Tech? What the heck is curling? Just an Olympic sport where players slide granite on ice towards a target and guide them with brooms! You mean there's a sport that involves sweeping? And your son has got the gift! <laughs> and I'm offering Johnny and that arm a full scholarship to Pork Belly Tech. Yes! <laughs> <laughs>
but he's not going to college yet. We'll wait. Awesome! I'm so proud of you, son. And now that your college is paid for, you can go home and be a kid again. Yes! And I'm loving my new kitchen. I'll get the broom. Put hot sauce in his milk. He tished! I'm not done with you! It was a lot of hot sauce. Stand back, Johnny, and I'll scare him with my super doggy growl. <sighs> it didn't work. Yeah, so hop on and I'll ditch him with my super chicken run! <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, Tish! I need muscles! Big muscles! Muscles that I won't have to use because they'll be so big, Bumper will be afraid of me just by looking at me. Like this. Or this. Or this. Where's the dog? Chasing cats. Now help a brother out, man! You're in luck, Johnny, because we have just invented the Mega Muscle Metabolism Accelerator. It speeds up the body's metabolism and turns ordinary body fat into whopping muscle. Great! Then zap me up, baby! Bring on the zap it zap it zap Uh, it's not a zapper. Actually, it's a clear flavorless liquid. Big muscles, here I come! Wait! There's a lot of breakable stuff in here. Let's go outside. Not that anything can go wrong, of course. <laughs> Ooh, okay, now that's what I call a workout. I'll take that, doggy thirsty. No, 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 don't do it, don't do it! Um, what? <laughs> We have no idea. But look on the bright side. You didn't drink it. <laughs> Looks like we got some pets off their leashes. And you just got caught by animal control. Man, I rock. <laughs> Why, you're off your leash too, big fella. <laughs> Quick, we have to get Dookie inside before he comes back with an army. Tank dot blaster, extra large titanium mesh catching net, and one super cool bandana. <laughs> get ready, monster dog, cause I'm the dog catcher. He's really heavy. <laughs> Just keep pushing before! He's gonna try and take Dookie! Um, take me where? Hey, you're back! Did I go somewhere? You accidentally drank some muscle juice and turned into a giant hulking monster dog! Oh, what? Where is he? Where is the giant hairy monster dog? Huh? Oh, that big hairy thing? Yeah, we don't know anything. It's just us and our nice not-monster dog, who's on a leash and very well trained. Watch! Sit, boy! Roll over! Make tea! Ooh, lemon zipper, nice! Okay, back to work! And I will not rest until I catch that monster dog! Oh man, he's snag Max and Clancy. Don't care about the cats, though. To the lab, dog! It's worse than we feared. The Dookie Jekyll metamorphosis increases every time he changes. Wait, what does that mean? It means each time Dookie changes, he will get bigger and possibly more violent and dangerous. Oh, and he'll need more iron to supplement his diet. A lot of iron. And the bad news is... The bad news? If he stays too long in the big scary state, he'll stay a monster dog forever. That would be terrible! Or would it? Yeah, Monster Dog is a bad idea. So how do we fix him? Already done. We had an antidote prepared all along. Well, let's have it! Now remember, you have to relax 
any excitability or fear could trigger the muscular metamorphosis. Got it. Stay calm. No problemo. Okay, here we go! <laughs> Hates needles. Here, monster dog. Here, boy. Be quiet back there. You'll get your due once I get the monster dog with no leash. Don't move, or it might suck out our brains. Freeze, monster dog. Man, I'm a lousy shot. Hey, get back here! Huh? Don't ask, just sit. Where is he? Where is the monster dog? I can smell the danger. I really can't, too. How do you know he's a monster, huh, Jack? I mean, maybe he's really ugly, but really nice, too. Maybe he's just afraid of you because you're chasing him around. Yeah! How would you feel if you got chased around by somebody with a giant net? You're not on the leash. Maybe you should catch yourself. Yeah, put yourself in all the fuzzy animal's shoes or paws. But I ain't in their shoe paws. I'm a man in boots, and these babies won't stop stomping until I find me that monster dog, lock him up, and sell my story to the supermarket tabloids. Oh, well, in that case, I saw the monster dog running that way. <laughs> Quick, give Dookie the antidote without the needle this time. How about a painless nasal mister? I love it. Now give it. Yeah, it's in my eye. It burns. Don't worry. I brought your trank dart blaster as a backup. Hmm? Man, I'm a lousy shot. And you're starting to get bigger and nastier. And you're starting to crave iron, aren't you? Yo, yo, a hairy monster dog showed up at the base and ate a one billion dollar iron tank. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Oh, so every time something goes wrong in this town, you think we did it? Is that it, huh? It's Dookie, isn't it? Yeah, it's Dookie. But you'll never get him before we do. Sorry, Johnny, but we have to. And we have to salvage what we can from the tank and the secrets he ate. We'll have to operate. It won't be pretty. But the cool new truck we have to catch him is pretty. Great, now the dog catcher and the military are after my dog. Actually, it's worse. If we don't get the antidote in Dookie in the next five minutes, he'll stay a monster dog forever. Again, to the lab! Okay, do something. What? We thought you had a plan. You're the geniuses! But we've done everything. Dookie didn't take the needle and wouldn't sit still for the nasal spray. Then we'll just shoot the antidote in him. Uh, how did you change so quickly? Just find Dookie and I'll take care of the rest. Found him. He's right there. And he's lost his mind! And Johnny's in an iron battle suit. Did you say iron battle suit? I'll save you, Johnny! I'm a lousy shot. Dookie, don't! It's me, Johnny! And I'm not tasty! Quick! Put on some soft and sweet flashback music! You're my best friend! Huh? <laughs> Johnny! Remembered how he loves Johnny. <laughs> now he's remembering how we're the ones that did this to him. <laughs> hey guys, my butt hurts. Well, this story is wrapping up quite nicely. But it's not over, because Black and White are still looking for Dookie. No, they're looking for a monster dog. So we'll just give them a monster dog. You don't have an old fake fur coat, do you? And you think this will help me catch the monster dog? Think about it. Dogs travel in packs. 
So why wouldn't monster dogs? Exactly what I was thinking. Just make loud, scary noises to attract them. Where ahead of you? Now check out my roar. Rawr! Rawr, rawr, rawr. Stop right there, monster dog. No, I'm not really a monster dog. See? I'm the dog catcher. It's tell him, kids. He's a monster dog. Correction. Stop right there, talking lion, monster dog. Well, we catch you with our big nets. Okay. Now I see where this story's going now. <laughs> Did you ever notice that Susan and Mary have more trophies than me? What, me? No, what trophy case? Tell the truth. Yeah, I noticed. It's a bit pathetic, but hey, you won a trophy. No, we didn't. We won it. And we ran out of room in our trophy case. So we need to use Johnny's. Hey, that's not fair. Dad built that trophy cabinet for me. Then try winning a trophy for once in your life, little brother. Whoa, that is harsh even for you. You have to want it, Johnny. You have to want winning more than anything. You just might not have the killer instinct like we do. Yeah, well, you know what? I do. I do have the killer thing, and I will win a trophy. So ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Doggy helped Johnny win trophy to prove Johnny not a loser. Johnny, not winning trophies doesn't make you a loser. Of course, it doesn't make you a winner either, but you are not a loser. Then what am I? Well, well, it's true you haven't won anything, but you have to enter a contest to win or lose, and you never enter contests, so basically you're... nothing. Did that help? No. And I'm gonna put something in that trophy case if it's the last thing I do! Oopsie, I stormed off too quickly. So how do I win a trophy? Oh, there's a junior golf tournament this weekend, and they give out huge trophies. Are you any good at golf? Let's get Dad's clubs and find out. I'm not good at golf. Well, $200 should take care of that window in your future emergency room visit, right? <laughs> No more golf! Why? Because I do not have a million dollars to pay for your troublemaking! Okay, what's Johnny win a trophy plan B? The Junior Rodeo Championships are in town this week. Are you sure you can ride a bull? That's why we're practicing. Uh, right. Now, where did you get the bull? Is it really important? Now open that gate and let's ride! <laughs> is having a really bad day. And here's 600 more dollars to cover your insurance deductible. Johnny, look in my wallet and tell me, do you see a million dollars? Uh, nope. Then no more bull riding. Wait, why are you bull riding? I'm trying to win a trophy. I can't take Susan and Mary winning all the time. Johnny need big shiny thing in cabinet. Son, you don't need a trophy to prove you're a winner. I mean, I never won a trophy and look at me. You're gonna win a trophy by watching TV? Yep. No, I'm gonna find out how to win a trophy by watching TV. You know how sometimes we'll be in the middle of something and that dude on the TV will give us an idea? Johnny, that is ridiculous. So you wanna win a huge trophy? Hmm? And now I stand corrected. Hank Anchorman here with eccentric billionaire Branson Ridgeway, who is kicking off the Pork Belly River Jump Cup. I've placed a huge trophy and an oversized check for one million dollars on the other side of the Pork Belly River. All you have to do to get it is jump the river in an unmotorized tricycle. That sounds cool. No, it doesn't. It's my goal to expand the possibility of a fuelless future. Because if mankind can jump a large river on a tricycle, there's nothing we can't do. You seriously believe that? I believe that it's the job of an eccentric billionaire to eccentrically push Eccentricity. What does eccentric mean? Rich, weird, and cuckoo, and you are not jumping the Park Belly River on a tricycle. No way! Johnny, do you want to test a super air-compressed super trike? No way. I'll test your super trike, and then you'll use it to jump the river and get that big, fat trophy. Well, you can forget it. I'm getting that trophy. I'm jumping the river. Who's got the killer instinct now? Just so you know, I will not help an 11-year-old boy crash into a river. And just so you know, blah, 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 I'm jumping the river! Pedal? Seriously, you're gonna pedal over the river? No, I'm gonna pedal over the pool to test my speed and... 
to do? Trajectory. I will win that trophy. It's just a trophy. It's not even real gold. Say hello to the Air Cannon Supersonic Super Trike. Or, as I like to call it, the trophy winner. That is so lame. Okay, who am I kidding? That is awesome! Every student at the university has entered the Pork Belly River Jump Cup. But we are going to win it. Now, check out the sound of 8,000 pounds of air pressure blasting me on a test run. She's really going to ride it? You're not the only crazy test driver around here, Johnny. Here we go! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure this will cover the damage for the truck. <laughs> Who needs to retire at 65 anymore, right? <laughs> what did I say before? Oh, yeah, I do not have a million dollars. You are all grounded. But Dad! No butts in your rooms. No! But if we jump the Pork Belly River on a trike, I'll win a big, shiny trophy and one million dollars. I don't care. Wait, did you say a million dollars? Individually, we can't make that jump. But with the girl's invention, Johnny's reckless abandon, and my approval, together we can make that jump and win that money. No, I have to win it myself. Johnny, every great champion has a winning team behind them. Nobody does it themselves. They're right. Whether it's a race car championship or the World Series, it's all about teamwork. One million dollars. One million! But I get to keep the big shiny trophy. I get the money. And we get the satisfaction of winning. Let's go to the river! Time out. Let's just take a minute, one minute, Johnny, to think about what's really important and... Johnny wants shiny trophy! It's just metal. What's really important is staying alive! Don't sweat it. It's gonna be a piece of cake. That was awesome! Everyone from school is here. That's Emily Smartpuff from Advanced Biochemistry. And that is one trophy you will not get, Susan and Mary Tess. <laughs> okay, now your dad is totally going to put a stop to this. Oh, I can see the big check from here. It is huge! And there's also a huge headwind. We're gonna have to boost the air pressure to 10,000 pounds. We're such geniuses. But not as genius as me, tiny classmates and little bro. Cha. Tim Burnout? Don't even think about it, Jack. That trophy is mine. <laughs> this trophy will not be yours, but mine. Thanks to my totally awesome sonic trike. What? <laughs> the best one yet! You're really just a rich nut who likes to watch people crash in a river, huh? Ah, uh, <clears throat> no. Um, I'm an eccentric who just wants to push human boundaries to show that mankind is boundless. Really? The cameras are off. This isn't on the record. Could you see that splash? <laughs> Nelly! Next, Next up, up, Johnny, Johnny Taft. Okay, what do you say we boost to one million pounds of pressure? Sounds good to me. And remember, Johnny, it doesn't matter how you get over the river. You just have to get over. I'm so proud of you, Million Dollars. I mean, son. I can't let you do this. You mean you can't stop me from doing this? A million dollars? One million? Okay, listen up! You have all lost your minds! Johnny's risking his life for a dumb gold cup that isn't even gold, and his ultra-competitive sisters have clearly become obsessive about winning, which is not part of the scientific method. And you, Dad, you would let your own son jump a river for money! Did Dookie just talk? Because you're so crazy with money and winning, you're seeing dogs talk! Now close your eyes, shake your head, and come to your senses! Close your eyes and shake your head! We're going home, kids. I've just realized in a totally freaky hallucination that this jump and that money is not worth it. So did we. No! Johnny won shiny trophy! And we also realized that all the trophies we've won are all because you tested them, Johnny. So technically, you deserve half of them. Okay, I'm cool. Now, what do you say we go home and move some of those big trophies into your cabinet? 
I love you all. <laughs> and I'll shut down this rocket trike before it explodes. <laughs> Definitely went too heavy on the air pressure. Yeah! He made it! Nice job, buddy. A big, shiny trophy in my cabinet that the whole family can enjoy. Yeah. And thanks for the million dollars, boy. Now Johnny can go to college and Mom and I can retire at 65 again. The only thing I can't figure out is what happened to the Sonic Drake. It should have returned to Earth by now. What are the odds? Here, this should cover the cost of a new house. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Um, what you doing? Waiting for a package, and it's taking forever. It's only been four days. I know. And is that some crazy weather lately or what? What did you mail away for this time? The coolest thing ever invented. I ordered a grow your own monster kit from the back of a comic book. Think about all the cool things we can do with our own pet monster. It'll be just like in the movies. <laughs> <laughs> um, in the monster movies I watch, the monster destroys the town and eats people. But this is a grow your own monster. I'll train him to be nice. You know you're delusional, right? No, hopeful. There's a huge difference. No, but every time you order something, it never works out. Remember the grow your own redwood tree? What a rip-off! It's supposed to be 400 feet high! Uh, it says here, for best results, wait 2,000 years. <laughs> It'll be different this time. Package for Johnny Tess. <laughs> <laughs> I just love doing that. There, the behavior modification serum is complete. So, what do you want to do with the side effects? It would be a shame to just let a good tube of defective microbes and toxic cells go to waste. <laughs> yes, my very own Grow Your Own Monster Kit. Cool. Just add capsule to water and watch your monster grow right before your eyes. <laughs> Johnny, before you go any further, let me tell you these novelty toys are total scams. This monster is just gonna be a cheap piece of foam and when it doesn't grow, you'll complain about what a ripoff it was and I'll have to listen to your endless whining and that's not fair! You're a pessimist, you know that? No, I'm a realist. There's a huge difference. Look, it's hatching! Three, two, one. <laughs> Rip off! It's nothing but a cheap chunk of foam in the shape of a monster. That is almost the last time I fall for this junk. I tried to tell you, buddy, but wait! It's alive. Alive! Oh, this can't be good. <laughs> hey there, little fella. Would you look at that? He's outgrown his home already. Yeah! <laughs> You're so cutie as you are, but you're never gonna make a good water slide or roast marshmallows if you're just a tiny monster. The more the water, the bigger the monster. Bath tub time! Yep, you definitely need a name, my monster buddy. Let's see. Gwargon? Skippy? Uh, Gameroid. Do you like Gameroid? Yeah! Then Gameroid! It is! And now it's time to grow my own bigger monster! Cool! But still not big enough. Then when Johnny put the capsule in the glass of water, the monster came to life! It's supposed to be a stupid foamy toy! How can you scientifically explain that? Easy. 
Johnny put his toy in the side effects from a new behavior modification formula we made. That he was supposed to drink. You are both nuts! No, we're curious. There's a huge difference. Did you notice any unusual side effects in the monster? Like heat vision, extra appendages, and an uncontrollable urge to destroy the town? <laughs> Relax. It can't destroy the town as long as it stays tiny. And Johnny doesn't put it in anything larger than a drinking glass. That's it, Gamelon! Cannonball! Uh-oh. Did you guys see that cannonball into our big pool? Isn't Gamoroid the greatest? Gamoroid? You're kidding, right? Yeah! Aw, look what you've done. You've gone and hurt his feelings. Feelings? Johnny, you've seen the movies. The only feelings monsters have are destroy and incinerate. You're wrong. Watch, Gameroid fetches, unlike some pets I know. Fetch, big fella, fetch! <laughs> hey, Test! It looks like you wet your pants again. <laughs> <laughs> I need to change my pants! No, Gameroid, don't! He was only playing! Put him down, Gammy. It's okay. We're okay! What's wrong with Gameroid? He's all gooned up or something. Yeah. That might be our fault. What did you do? We made this behavioral serum that calms aggression. Yeah, and? You grew Gameroid in the side effects from the serum, which obviously makes him enraged, especially when threatened. Oh. What? You know, if that thing finds its way to the ocean, there's no telling how big it'll get. And with all those side effects swimming around in that monster, there's no telling what that thing will do. There's plenty of telling what that thing will do. It will do what all your experiments do. Destroy the town, because you are all insane! No, we're, we're adventurous. adventurous. There's, There's a, a huge difference. difference. And you said to grow your own monster kit wouldn't work. We, we got, got to stop, stop that thing! Whoa, that thing's got a name, you know. It's Gameroid. We can't destroy him. There's good in him. I think. Try your best to slow him down while we go back to the lab and get the behavioral modification serum. That will reverse the nasty side effects and don't let him reach the ocean! Okay, but hurry. We need to save him before... Yellow. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right. We got a monster invading the town! Woo-hoo! <laughs> Let's hunt us a monster, boys! Like in the movies. Got to move out of this town. <laughs> That's nothing. Back home, our monsters are twice as big and they shoot lasers from their eyes. That's not bad, though. Take shelter, boys! This is a military operation now, and we're gonna bring this monster down monster movie style! Woohoo! But he's my monster! You can't destroy him! You gotta believe me! He'd never hurt a fly! Jet planes, on the other hand! We're okay! You were saying... He was saying that if Gameroid gets to the ocean, he'll grow so big he could destroy the whole planet! We just have to wait for my sisters. They can make him nice and cute again. Now look, Johnny, nobody wants to hurt you, monster. But at the rate he's growing, it's either us or him. On my command, ready, aim. Wait, we brought the serum that should take care of the monster. How many times have I told you his name is Gameroid? All we need to do is inject him with this unusually large needle. But he's too far away and too close to the ocean. We'll never hit him from here. Please, you gotta save him. Oh, for crying out loud, Johnny. Give me the needle. If this doesn't work, I am so out of a job. Ready? 
Are you sure this is gonna work? We have no idea. Fire! <laughs> Bullseye! Don't you mean monster butt? <laughs> So, this thing's gonna shrink Gamoroy back to his original cute size, right? Oh, not even close. But he will be way more mellow. But what on earth are we gonna do with a 50-foot monster? We're ready for you, Mr. Roid. Gammy, it's the network. They want to know if you'll do the celebrity dancing show. <laughs> Gammy's in. Got it. Yeah, love ya. Bye. <laughs> wow. You're starring in your very own movie. And you're the biggest star on Earth. Literally. Sorry, kids. We gotta roll. This family is completely nuts. You know that, right? No, no we're... we're... Yeah, yeah, we're, we're nuts. nuts. You smell. Is that tuna? Because it looks more like camel barf on toast. Pull my finger. That's it! I'm never talking to you again! Okay, class, it's time for your social studies projects, and I'm picking the partners. And our first team is Sissy and Johnny. What? Don't even think about complaining, Johnny. I'm putting you with Sissy because you need an A, or it's off to the special classes with Mrs. Crabapple. You mean Crabapple's bad apples? Who can tell me what four plus one equals? Um, 41? Screw these into your desks till the bell rings. <laughs> I can't go there, and I can't be Sissy's partner. One, because she's nuts, and two, I vow never to speak to her again. Well, you're gonna do it, because one, I'm the teacher, and two, I'm the teacher. Eight dollars and uh, 31 cents. Wow, this must be serious. I've got to work with Sissy and get a good grade or I'll be put in the worst class at school! Okay, so what is the problem? I thought Sissy smelled clean, like soap. So I told her she smelled, and she slugged me! Okay, well, you didn't add nice. You need to say, you smell nice. And you told me once girls like honesty, so I said her sandwich looked like barf, which was honest. Then I had her pull my finger and pooted, which is hilarious. Hilarious for boys, not girls. Well, what do I do? I gotta work with her and get an amazing grade. Just let her sniff your butt, then she knows you're accepting of her. Hey, it works for me. The problem is you and Sissy have incompatible personality types. Incompatibility who will? It means that Sissy is a smart, hardworking girl, and you are... Gross. So tomorrow, go to school and try really, really hard not to be gross. Well, look who showed up. Okay, here's our project. We're gonna make a model of the Great Pyramid with recycled bottles and cover it up in pretty earth dome flowers. Here's what I think. Ah! <laughs> All I said was that I thought the Pyramid Project was a poor choice. And you use those exact words. No, I use much grosser words. Oh, Johnny, I hear you might be joining our class soon. I have some screws and a wrench ready for you. And I have a hammer ready for you. <laughs> Give me a new personality. Something Sissy will love. Love, I tell you! Johnny, the human personality is based on so many things that nobody really knows for sure. It could be genetic, or based solely on social cognition, or... Blah, blah, blah! Just make me super nice and lovey so I can get an A and not go to the cuckoo class! We've got just the thing! Whoa, 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 hold on! I know Johnny's a bit wacky, but you can't mess with the boy's personality! A few tweaks in the personality twister could make Johnny not so wacky, and we could make him a coffee lover like you. Well, I suppose a few tweaks couldn't hurt. New personality, here I come! Now, to extract a DNA helix and store it in the mainframe. <laughs> and now, to twist it and make a stronger connection to Johnny's nicer genetic heritage. Cheerio, siblings, and my fine hound. Huh? The test 
have a lot of English in our bloodlines. Are you gonna help or be gross again? Firstly, I must apologize for my earlier behavior. And yes, Sissy, I look so forward to participating in this exciting project with you. Okay, Johnny, who makes my knees like jelly? Let's get an A together. Splendid! I've decided not to wait until you join our class. So I'm gonna give you the hammer lesson now. Oh, I thank you, Bumper. How nice of you to go out of your way and teach me your expertise with blunt tools. Uh, you make my knees like jelly. I have to leave and think. Splendid! Hey, how did it go at school? Totally pippers. And I wanted to thank my sisters for helping me so. And bring my mixed breed a latte. Two sugars, no foam. We love, we love new personality, Johnny! Hey, gang! Dinner time! Uh-oh. You, you did what? what? We gave Johnny a new personality. I said no DNA experiments in the house! Oh, please do not get mad at them, mother and father. It was my fault. Let me clear the table and tend the dishes so you can discuss my punishment. I like him. I like him a lot. Me too. But we can't. <laughs> You're right. We need our old boy back, who is ours, and not that. Here is some tea to help you relax. And thank you for a wonderful meal. Your meatloaf father was smackers. Um, I'll do it. But I'll probably hate myself in the morning. Go to the lab and bring Johnny back! Um, I can't find Johnny's DNA map. Are you saying you can't find Johnny? No. Johnny and all his DNA are in the Twister. We just sort of don't know who Johnny is. And since much of science is trial and error... Come on, Lucky Seven! <laughs> Johnny, speak to me! <laughs> huh, looks like we've got some ninja heritage as well. That's a nice ninja, Johnny. Back in the pretty machine. <laughs> So how's it going? We're working through some kinks. Like what? I despise all of you. Uh, don't you have some Austrian heritage on your side? Yep. Hola! The Spanish comes from my side. Mama, dance with me now! If we have a little more time, we can locate his actual personality map. <laughs> Dip! Oh, well, this Johnny will probably stay out of trouble. But get to work! Ole! More flowers! Great, Johnny. The project is due tomorrow. But these flowers are for you. What is wrong with you today? How can things be wrong when you are so right? Kiss me! What? Gross! We need to work! Admit it, Sissy. You are hot for me. You are like Cleopatra. And I am like the king dude she loved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah! Oh. oh, the last thing she can scuttle me. Give me my kilt, cause Johnny Mac test is not done. Oh, I think your personality changed when you hit your head. Big pipes, I hate big pipes. Ah! Oh. Looking for a tussle, are you? Will you? Oh. Hey, wait, wait. Help! Help! I want my skipping rope back! Yeah! A pyramid? Oh, that is original. Was the volcano with smoke and soda bottle tornado already taken? Oh. I would suck your blood, but that project is sucky enough already. Blah! Johnny Chest, so I'll take the F just so you can go to Crab Apple's class and be gone forever! I still can't find Johnny's Helix map. And you're running out of time. Why? Who is Johnny now? Um, a dog. <laughs> Here, Johnny, get the phone. Here, boy. We said we wanted Johnny normal by dinner, so what's going on? Yeah. We couldn't find his original helix, so we're rewriting his genetic code by tracking the test family tree and estimating behavioral patterns. And did he have any infant trauma? He jumped in the ram exhibit at the zoo when he was two and was rammed. Now, we enter all that in, balance the mix, and... There, can I get some tiny meatballs with gravy? Too much Swedish meatball. 
I want to be back to me by dinner or you're all in big trouble. Big trouble! Uh, too much me. <laughs> Maple syrup and hockey, eh? Pull back on the Canadian. <laughs> I am, like, so dizzy right now. Johnny! You are my little boy, right? You're hugging me too tight. And is that meatloaf I smell or bad guano? Yep, he's back. And it's good to be a family again. But it's bad to be me tomorrow. Because Sissy's going to get me kicked into Miss Crabapple's bad apple class because I still don't get girls. Girls, help him out. I don't get girls either. Sissy, Johnny is gross and immature, but that's normal for boys. Perhaps a compromise could be reached where you can do a project together that utilizes your obsessive perfectionism and Johnny's grossness. Fine. And the sarcophagus is where the Egyptians buried their royalty in hopes their spirits would return. Oh. And where's Johnny? He's supposed to help you, but he didn't. So it's off the crab apples, bad apples. <laughs> Okay, you both get A's. 